talking about my favorite thing. Handbag lovers, let's go. Hello beauties, my name's Ivanka and welcome. Let's just hit a lamp. <laughs> Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a former luxury retail buyer turned content creator based in New York City. I talk about fashion lifestyle every Sunday, and so if that's what you're into, hit subscribe. Removing the headband because it's actually giving me a headache. <laughs> I know we're already two months into 2024, but right now I feel like we're ready to purchase spring items. But also being a former luxury retail buyer, I know when the spending habits start to happen, which is actually right around now. March, April, May, that's when people are ready to start buying items for spring and summer. So here's a recap of all the hottest bag trends for you to start thinking about your it bag of the season. Black Cherry, Oxblood, Merlot, Dark Red, Burgundy, Red, whatever you name it. It's dominating in ready to wear, it's dominating in footwear, and yes, it is dominating in handbags. It's the color of 2024. And we all love luxe, we all love quiet luxury. We know that the color black is also a big trend. So cherry is your compliment. Like if you love to wear black, if you love to wear neutrals, if you love to wear white, like think about a black cherry handbag and it really just completes the outfit. And the best part about it is that you can match it with like a black cherry lipstick. Like that's the best way to balance that look. Like I love seeing a black cherry lipstick with the handbag and a neutral monochrome look. I think that outfit is just fire. Brands like the Attico, Gucci, Versace, everybody has a Merlot, Burgundy, Black Cherry colorway in their arsenal this season. Baguettes, and no, not the French bread. However, I love a good baguette. Think 90s, think Carrie Bradshaw. If you see my 2024 trend recap, I talk about the 90s. It's a big trend this season. It's all about minimalism, clean lines, and that chic baguette. So it's not like the average little bag. It's actually more of like a horizontal size. So it has the shoulder strap, but instead of a square, it's like horizontal. We already know the Fendi baguette bag. It is iconic and it is making waves again this season. And also I think this bag is great just for the girl on the go. Throw it over your shoulder, easy to open, can put everything you need in. You got it, you go. Whenever I'm in a rush, I always grab like a baguette style bag because I just throw everything in there and I'm done and I'm gone. So I'm just gonna expect to see a lot more baguettes because it's just more functional. We're going completely opposite of functional. We're talking about unique shapes. Unique shapes can add a lot of excitement to an outfit, can add a fun trend, add a fun color, and it also brings a lot of attention. I feel like a unique shape bag instantly adds style to an outfit. So think oddly shaped bag, think distorted proportions, out of the box designs, different colors. A lot of designers right now are having fun with it too. If you just look at the runway, the accessories, it's exciting. I really feel like accessories is topping ready wear right now when it comes to excitement on the runway and it's really showing in handbags. Big and slouchy. We want to be carrying our life in our handbags. It's the complete opposite of baguette. So however you vibe, whether you're a baguette or you're big and slouchy, it doesn't matter you're killing it. Gone are the micro bag days. And we all knew eventually that was going to pass because it's just maybe fit my keys in it. So we are down to big and louchy. So think hobo bags, Loewe, Bottega, they're all sending down these large obnoxious bags. And I love it, man. I just love stuffing my bag with like nonsense sometimes. I'm the girl with three different hand sanitizers, multiple lip glosses, lipsticks. You never know. You never know what the day will take you, so it's best to be prepared. Loewe squeeze bag, Bottega's Andiamo bag, the Rose It bag. Decorative heavy metals. I love a decorative bag. I do, I love it. I will have anything that's unique and fun. And I'm also a gold jewelry girl. So I'm a big fan of having my hardware on my handbag to match my jewelry. Gabarelli, Kate, gold clutches, Brandon Maxwell, Bottega again with the sardine bag. These all have decorative parts. Think about belt detail, beading, candles. It's not just like the leather bag or the brown bag. We want a little glam. We all want a little excitement. And we want a little noise, you know? We want that hardware to make a noise. Patent leather. And their patent leather comes in, it comes out. So if you have a patent leather bag, just always hold on to it because it always comes back. So again, with the 90s, the baguettes, 
pad leather is also coming back, but in a very chic, slim way. So a nice shoulder bag and pad leather. Prada, for instance, has amazing patent leather bags. The fun part about it is that because black is in too, you can go on full on matrix. The textures, it's exciting. It creates a conversation. And I just feel like a boss babe. Come on, like all black leather, patent leather. Mm. A lot of designers are setting down pastel colors. Sky blue, for instance. Oh yeah, we'll touch on that. Baby pink, lavender, they're all coming in pastels too. So incorporate this material in a fun way with your next outfit. Silver, silver is a big color this season. Along with gold too, I think we're just gonna see more handbags in silver right now, but I do foresee gold kind of becoming the next <laughs> silver <laughs> next season. Anyway, everybody needs at least one silver handbag and one gold handbag. And no, you don't need to go out and buy the next silver Chanel or gold Louis Vuitton. You need a little bit more of an excitement, but you don't wanna go on full color. Silver is a safe bet. Sky blue, okay, so I mentioned sky blue. Sky blue and butter, like the light pale yellow, but we're seeing from an accessories perspective, like sky blue is dominating. So you can find sky blue and patent, you can find it and also textures. I've seen the, the sky blue and faux fur handbags, which is kind of cute. I also love the Prada's nylon re-edition bag in sky blue. I think it's such a fun bag for the summer. Cute summer dress with this sky blue handbag. It's just gonna add like a touch of softness to your outfit. Finally, the clutch. And I know we've been seeing this for the last like few years now, but still. I love the fact that clutches are no longer an evening accessory. I remember growing up, like you only see a clutch when you're wearing like an evening gown or going to a nice dinner. I love that it has like a fresh perspective now and they're seeing the day, they're seeing, they're seeing daylight. Um, and designers are creating ones that are more functional, like Reformation has one they can slide on your wrist, so you can use your hand. There's a Bottega pouch, which everybody knows, classic, but Tory Burch, Carven, a lot of designers are sending down clutches. They have versatility for any end use and it's fresh, it's fun. And I love, love a clutch during the day. And that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am also on Instagram and TikTok. So definitely follow along, let's hang out. And if you like what you saw here, definitely hit subscribe. Every Sunday I drop a video. Also, let me know what you wanna see next. I just, I would love to hear from you. And that is all. Bye.